In this demo, we're going to run through how to set up your takeoffs. From the project dashboard, go to the takeoffs, upload any PDF plan, and it will take you to the canvas. You have your zoom in and out at the bottom of the screen. In the left hand navigation, you can choose between the PDF documents that you've uploaded. By clicking the three dots in the bottom right hand corner of the thumbnail, you'll be given additional options to rotate, clone, download, and delete plans. Also, you can rename them. You can also pin PDF pages. So if you have a document of 100 pages and you only want to work off of five, you can pin them for easy access. Something is very important to be aware of is house is automatically set as page scale is a quarter inches equal to a foot. By checking the box here, you will be given all of the page scales you can think to work with. Should you need to calibrate the plans yourself, you can use the find page scale. If you've uploaded multiple PDF documents, you'll be able to select them from the drop down menu in the top here. Okay, that's the housekeeping out of the way. Let's get to measuring. The rectangle is simply click, drag and drop, and that will give you the square footage of any symmetrical area. What we encourage people to do early on is set up your categories and groups. By checking any of the tools in the icon menu, you can select create new group. Here you can create a group. In this example, we're going to create timber flooring and give it a category flooring. You can add multiple groups into your categories and what this will allow you to do is structure your takeoff in a linear fashion and present it to your colleagues and clients in a very straightforward manner. So now we're back on the canvas. We have timber floor selected with the polygon. Click to start, click to drop a marker and change direction and double click to finish the measurement. You'll see the square footage of the timber floor appear in the measurements drawer on the right hand side. By continuing the measurement and having the group selected, you'll see that both measurements are added into the total of the timber floor. Should we want to add something to a group later on, simply check the box in the measurements drawer, go over to the three dots on the right hand side and click move to. Now we're going to use our length. Again, we're going to create a new group here and we're going to do internal walls. We're going to give it the category drywalling. Again, you, if it's not already in the drop down, simply type it in and create the category drywall. By adding it to your favorites, you'll be associating it with your account and any projects you upload at a later stage will be there and available for you to measure straight away. The length works the same as the polygon. Click to start, click to drop a marker and change direction and double click to finish. Here we might want to increase our line width just so as we're better able to see it on the canvas itself. As you can see, because we have the group internal walls set up, Every time we finish a measurement, it is adding to the total in our category drywall. Once we have all the internal walls measured, what we can do is check the box in the middle of the measurements drawer there, and this will give us additional parameters which we can enter. So for this, we're going to enter a height of 9 feet 6 inches, and what you'll see is we get the total square footage of the internal walls from those linear measurements. In this box, we're able to add height, width, depth, and pitch. So if you were doing a concrete pour, for example, and you wanted to get the volume of concrete, you simply add your depth and you would get your cubic yards. Same goes for roofing. Now we have the count and it does exactly what it says on the tin. With this, you can count toilets, vanities, electrical sockets, fans, whatever you can think of, you can count. This comes in really handy when you're doing multi-story projects and you need to count doors, windows, whatever it may be. Then we have the annotation tool. And what this allows you to do is write notes on the plans themselves. Keep in mind, everything you do on the takeoff canvas, you can save it as a PDF and send it to clients or teammates, whatever it may be. So with the annotation, Write your note, click the arrow tool and point exactly where you are referring to. This can really help avoid costly mistakes when you get on site at a later stage. 
you can set up all of your categories and groups in the manage favorites. So some people like to do it as they go, but others like to come in and just set everything up as they are doing it initially. And again, that will be saved to your account so that it will be ready to go for any future projects. Set up your categories and add groups into them. Give them a unit, feet squared, cubic yards, whatever it might be. And you can also attach a price to them. This will, when you are sending it to the estimate, pull the pricing through from the canvas onto the estimate straight away. Hit save and continue. And then what you'll see back on the canvas is when you hit one of the tools in the drop down. if you've done it in the manage favorites, all of your categories and groups will be available for you to measure. Once you're happy you've gotten your takeoff done, you can hit review and estimate. This will take you through to the estimate portion of House Pro. You'll see all of the workings that you've done on the canvas, and if you've saved a dollar value to them, you'll see that it is automatically calculating the quantity and the dollar value to give you a total cost. You can add things straight to the estimate that you wouldn't have necessarily added on the canvas, such as planning and permission, or whatever it is that you need to add at a later stage. Once you're happy, you can then send the estimate to your client for them to approve and get the job rolling.